Louisville's history of redlining has concentrated black residents into West End neighborhoods like this one called Russell. In the early part of the 20th century, this was a thriving hub of black business and culture. But decades of disinvestment have driven many residents into poverty. Today, the black home ownership rate in Louisville is half of what it is for white residents. All of these uh, vacant lots didn't exist. There Kevin was Dunlap was born in Russell. In Used to ride my bicycle down, down uh, this street. I mean, it was a, a thriving area growing up as a child. Over time, just seeing what the transition has been is very disheartening to see. Dunlap is the executive director of Rebound, the nonprofit housing arm of Louisville's Urban League. He points to government urban renewal policies in the 1950s and 60s that resulted in the demolition of majority black areas. You begin to see people begin to move out or were displaced as a result of urban renewal. But as you begin to start buying a property and acquiring property, you know, there was no need for other people didn't want to stay next to undeveloped property. And it kind of wiped out the business sector that was part of the heart of the African-American community. Dunlap's group is working with the Metro Louisville government to increase black home ownership in the West End. City officials acknowledge Louisville needs more than 30,000 additional units of affordable housing. In the city of Louisville, we have a housing crisis. Like Dunlap, Ja'Cory Arthur was born and raised in the West End. Last year at 28, he was elected Louisville's youngest member of the Metro Council. When you can't afford to live here in the neighborhood with the highest rate of poverty, you can't afford to live anywhere. And to a certain extent, you could argue you're not supposed to afford to live at all. You really got three options. You could be houseless in a junkyard, you can be imprisoned in a prison yard, or you'll be dead in a graveyard.